hello, welcome back to my channel, welcome to a new video. We are on our cruise. I look like, well I look like somebody who needs a holiday and there's a reason for that. <laughs> um, we're in our cabin and what we thought we would do is before we unpack and make the place very untidy, thought we'd do a quick cabin tour. So uh, we're on the P&O ship Iona and she's a lot newer, Tammy's here so look there Tammy. She's a lot newer than the previous ships we've been on. We travelled on Oriana and Ventura before. And Oriana, I think, was 30 odd years old, wasn't she? Yes, she was older. Yeah, and I she think Ventura. <laughs> yeah, I think Ventura was 20 years old or something like that. Um, so Iona's only a few years old. Iona was like 2018, I think, or something like that, joined the fleet. So, maybe 2019, I don't know. Anyway, she's only a few years old. So it's um, going to be interesting to see what's different. From our point of view, what's different in a newer ship to an older one? So let's have a look around the cabin. <laughs> Tammy is familiarising yourself with the brochure. What have you learnt from the brochure, Tammy? Where to find food. Oh, now there's somebody at the door. That was our door, wasn't it? I there's somebody at the door. door. There's somebody at the door. Oh, there's somebody at the door. Come on, there's somebody at the door. I'm going. This happened the last time I filmed a cabin thing. Yeah. Tammy went to answer the door while I was filming. Oh, lovely, beautiful. Thank you very much, Amit. Thanks. Amit with my milk. It's not, it's Amit. 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 A M I T. T, not D. Amit. Amit. Um, extra milk for Tammy for a coffee, let's see. So, yeah, Tammy's familiar uh, familiarising herself with the brochure and where all the food places are, and there are a lot of them on this ship. And I thought I'd show you the cabin. So, this is the door. I'm going to stand here with the door behind me. So this is how it looks when you first come in. It doesn't look like this when you first come in because it's not full of our stuff. But now we've filled it up. So first up then, just inside the door, you've got, this is a double wardrobe, life jackets are in there. Look, there's the little picture that shows where your life jacket is. And sure enough, there they are. Double wardrobe. Tammy said there wasn't enough space for us, but I reckon we get our stuff in there. Just about. It looks smaller than Less space than the last one. Last last cruise went on, we had kind of walking area. Then there is a safe in there. I can't open that because the bag's in the way. Safe in there and shelves. Down here, this is going to be our... Oh, I was going to say that's been a fridge. Not a fridge. Not a fridge. Cupboard. Ooh, I, bet the in the I hope there's a fridge. Hair dryer. Tea and coffee and what's in the drawer. Milk. Biscuits, <laughs> milk okay, biscuits, so coffee, tea bags, all the stuff in the drawers. Kind of a nice little drawer, I like that. The last cruise we just had a tray, I think. Plug sockets, got both kinds of plug sockets, so that's interesting. UK and European plug sockets there. Kettle, me, Tammy again. Two single beds, you can have these cabins set up as a double or a twin. Obviously we didn't want to cuddle, so we've got it set up. We've got an inside cabin. I'm going to talk to you in the mirror. This is the first time on this cruise that we've ever had an inside cabin. The first one we went on, we booked... Restricted view. I think we booked restricted view and they upgraded us to a window. The second one, because we'd enjoyed the window so much, we booked the same cabin again on the same ship. The third one... We booked an outside cabin. We booked an outside cabin. This time we decided we'd go with an inside cabin because it's so much cheaper. It's several hundred pounds cheaper. And we were kind of fingers crossed we might get an upgrade, but we didn't. Speaking of fingers, don't even ask. If you've been following my Instagram, you know about that. Anyway, so yeah, we hoped we'd get an upgrade. We didn't get one. So we have no window. But to be honest, in our previous cabin, that's where the window would be above the two beds. We didn't, we didn't spend that much time. No, we didn't spend that time so much time looking out the window. And the only time I did try looking out the window was the day I was seasick and it didn't help. So I don't think we'll miss it that much. We've got these are movable bedside tables because you can have it set up as a double or a twin. And there are no drawers, which is a drawback. But um, <laughs> that is a drawback because we had drawers in our previous cabins. And then over here behind our massive suitcases, I'm hoping one of these is a fridge. I really hope it's a fridge. Otherwise, I'm not warm Pepsi Max for a week. Two. There is a fridge. Yay! There's a fridge and another cupboard next to it. And really large telly. Much bigger telly than we had on previous previous cabins. And um, I'm not sure what that's meant to be. A piece of art. There's 16 restaurants. Right, we're only here for 14 nights. <laughs> we can't manage all 16 unless we do some of them for lunch as well. 
They only seems to be all about food. All about food. Right, should we go and look at the bathroom? We've got some hanging hooks there for coats. Temperature control, so you can actually have it cold or warm in here. It was absolutely freezing in a minute ago. We just turned that on. This is the first time that we have had to put our cruise card in to keep the electricity on. We've not had that before. And then there's how to put your life jacket on and where to go if the ship sinks, which it's not going to do. And then a step up into the loo. There's our bathroom. You never have to bring towels on a cruise, all your towels are supplied. There's me again. And then let me just step up. I'm loving this shower. This is a much better shower than we have had on previous trips. So on Oriana, we had a shower over a bath, which was a bit, you have to clamber in and out. And it was only a three quarter size bath, so Tammy didn't love the bath anyway, because you had to sit there with your knees up. On Ventura, we had a shower cubicle, but I think it was much smaller than this one. This seems much larger. There's a little washing line in it. I think this is a better shower. Obviously, don't know that for sure until we try it, and I'm not taking you in with me when I do. So that's our cabin tour. We're going to make a mess now and unpack, because we deliberately didn't unpack until I filmed this so that you'd have a chance of seeing it before it was covered in our rubbish. I'm going to unpack now, and there will be more stuff in this video about other bits of the ship. I'm probably not going to do a whole ship tour because it's freaking huge, but, but watch this space. Well, if you've been around here for a while, you'll know that I'm pretty rubbish at this vlogging business. And I did get more footage than you are about to see, but I seem to have lost some of it. So this is the Grand Atrium. This spans three decks of the ship. It goes from deck six, seven, up to eight, and it's the central part of the ship. As you go in the side, there is this glass window wall. You can sit there and watch the sea go by, as, as, or, or the land go by if you're coming into port. And as you can see, I'm going to look over the edge in a second, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> In the centre, there's a big open area with a massive spiral staircase that goes all the way up. Around the side of here is the Glass House restaurant and the Keel and Cow on a different level. So there are eateries here and there's a Costa Coffee as well. I think that's on the level below where we're filming at the moment, but it may be above. And then to the other side, there are shops on both levels. So as you walk out that side facing you now, you'll go through the shopping arcade. And there's quite a lot of shops on Iona. They're uh, quite keen on getting you to spend some money while you're on board, but you do, of course, get on board spend with most cruise bookings. So there's the view over the railings down into the bottom area. On previous cruise ships, that would have been used for ballroom dancing, but I didn't seem to see very much of that on Iona. I think they're trying to appeal to a different demographic with the larger ships. I think they're going for more younger families rather than the older people who perhaps enjoy the ballroom dancing more. So this is the Glass House restaurant that I'm walking through now. And as you can see, that glass window wall stretches up on both sides of the atrium. You can sit on either side and watch across. I think this is the bit where I look over the edge. There we go. That throne that you can see down there is something to do with the Christmas advent calendar that they were doing while we were on board. And there's a little post box next to it where you could post messages to Santa, I believe. So there's your glass wall. It's very, very striking. This was filmed around about half past 11 at night, which is why there's no one around. I took the opportunity as I was coming back to the cabin late. Well, oh, there you go, half past midnight took the opportunity, I was coming back to the cabin late one night to film it while it was empty, because obviously it's not that easy to film while everybody's sitting around. The Christmas decorations grew as the cruise went on. Every day you'd come out and there'd be a little bit more Christmas going on. Now we've flipped into the clubhouse. This is a different day. So this is the clubhouse, which is one of the main cabaret venues. They did bingo there. There's our friends Diane and Mark there, and there's Tammy. And so they did bingo there every day, and there was a talk in there every morning different uh, talks. We were listening to some very interesting speakers. There's Diane hiding from the camera. It's too late, Diane. I've already got you. <laughs> and Mark again. And so, yeah, this is the clubhouse. This is a way, way bigger venue than it appears on this bit of footage. It's just that we're away in one corner while I was filming this. And then this is the cinema. So there are four screens on Iona. Having said that, there was only one screen on Ventura, but it was about three times the size of each of these individual ones. I suppose the benefit of this is that they can show four different movies at once, although they were showing Barbie and screens one and two, just 15 minutes apart. We went to see Barbie on this particular day. As you can see, there's a little seating area. It tells you whether there's any vacancies within before you go inside, so you don't have to disturb people if it's already full. And each screen, each screen seats about 40 people. 
Now, this has not been a great ship tour, but I'm linking below to Emma Cruises, who has done a much, much better tour and review of Iona. So make sure you pop off there and watch that. Thanks for watching.